Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Um, I know Mondays could be tough, but hopefully this one's not too tough on y'all. Um, so this is part three of the fairy glass cardigan tutorial, which is also my first crochet along. Um, if you missed part one or part two, I will link them up here in this corner. Um, this pattern is actually designed by Garden Studio, and I do have written permission to do a video tutorial of their free patterns. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this, um, you know, this string of videos. Um, I will put in the description box below, uh, where you can find the written pattern, um, from their website. Um, and I'll, and I'll link below in the description boxes, in the description box where you guys can find, um, part one and part two as well, just, just because, um, so anyways, uh, let's get into it. Okay guys, so um, this is what my piece looks like after parts one and two, and we're going to go ahead and continue with uh, part three. You can see it's a pretty lacy design. Um, let me see if I can adjust the camera here just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> So I am still using my 3.5 millimeter hook. It's my little raccoon hook with its matching stitch marker. Um, if anybody is interested in this hook or any like it, I will also leave in the description box where I picked this hook up. Um, the tip is just a boy uh, 3.5 millimeter hook and then the entire handle is hand sculpted and I don't know I really like these hooks a lot and some of you are probably tired of hearing me talk about them <laughs> um, so for the next section of this pattern it says work from second round in a3 as follows work a3a which shows how the round begins and ends, and then continue with A3B in the round. So, if we take a look at our diagram over here, let's see, what do we got? So, looking at our diagram, we need to I hope you got. I, I have a habit of getting off of getting out of frame, and I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, so, looking at the diagram, we are going to first slip stitch into our first chain space, and then we are going to chain up six. So, one, two, three, four five and six and I'm going to take this stitch marker off so that it's not clanking around <clears throat> all right we've chained up six and then we're going to jump into the next chain space which is right here and we're going to put a fan stitch which is two trebles one one treble two trebles and then we're going to chain two and place two more trebles in that same chain space So that's our fan stitch there. We are going to chain two. 
skip to the next chain space and we're going to put one treble. And then we'll chain two and we're going to put another fan right here in the next chain space. So two trebles, two chains, and then two more trebles all in the same chain space. And you can see this is what it's starting to look like. Um, and you're just going to repeat that all the way around. That's going to be your sequence. You're going to chain two, place one treble in the next chain space, chain two, place one fan, and chain two. And you're just going to continue that all the way around till you get back around to the beginning. And I will meet back up with you guys when I get over here myself. Okay, so I've reached the end of my round and I'm going to go ahead and chain two. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the fourth chain of my starting chain to join the round. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Oh, my yarn's a bit s splitty, so one, two, three, four. Sorry, guys. There we go. So the next portion says. Well, it says that we should have 42 fans. So let's go ahead and count and make sure that we have 42. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So I've got my 42 fans. <clears throat> and so let's kind of rearrange stuff here. The next section or the next part of the pattern says work from A2 third round one time and fourth round four five or six times depending on the size that you're making so since I'm making a small I'll only be working the fourth round four times but let's go back and we're just gonna focus on the third round of a2 Let's find our diagram. Where have I got it? I've got it somewhere around here. Uh oh 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So, first we're going to work the third round of diagram A2. And we're going to work that one time. So, we are going to need to chain up six. We're going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to skip this chain space here, and we're going to jump it. Uh, we're going to skip both of these trebles here, and then we're going to place a fan stitch in this chain two space here. So, two trebles, two chains, and then two more trebles all in this next chain two space. So, this chain six actually counts as a treble plus two chain spaces. Um, and what we've actually done is we've put a fan stitch into the center of a fan stitch from the previous round. So, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to put a treble right here in this treble crochet from the previous round. And then we're chaining two, and we're going to put another fan stitch right here in this fan stitch. Of course, that's two trebles, two chains, and two more trebles, all in the chain two space of that fan stitch. And then we're going to chain two. And that's actually the entire sequence for this entire round. I'm going to show you one more time. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with skipping this chain two space and putting a treble into this stitch here, which is a treble from the previous round. We're going to chain two. Place a fan stitch inside this the chain two of the fan stitch from the previous round. So that's going to be two trebles, two chains, and two more trebles all in that same chain two space. Just like that, and then we're going to chain two to end the sequence. So this is what it's going to look like, and you're just going to repeat that same sequence all the way around until you get back to your starting chain. Um, 
and I will meet back up with you guys when I get there. Okay guys, so I've actually come up to the end of my round, which you can see here, and I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to slip stitch to join it in the fourth chain of my starting chain. So one, two, three, four. And I'm just going to slip stitch right in there. Okay, so you can see it's starting to get a little too big to show the whole thing. But this is what it's starting to look like. Um, again, it is a very lacy pattern. So, for the next round, we are going to be working from diagram A2 as well. And we're going to be working the fourth round of diagram A2. Um, and you're going to, depending on the size that you're making, I'm only making a small, so I'll only be repeating this round four times. But if you're making a medium you're going to repeat it five and if you're making a large you're going to make it six times so um the total number of uh rows or rounds that have fan stitches for a small is going to be six for a medium it'll be seven and for a large it'll be eight um, and what i mean by rounds that have fan stitches are these here so I've already got two I'm gonna do uh, round four of a two four times which will give me a total of six rows that have um, fan stitches in them and the way that we do whoop, like I said this yarn this type of yarn can be very splitty because it's really just four pieces or four threads held together. Um, the way that we do round four from A2, from diagram A2, is we're going to chain up six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to skip this chain two space and go right into the chain two space of the V stitch or the the v stitch the the fan stitch from the previous round and we're going to put another fan stitch into this space here so two trebles Two chains and two more trebles. And then you're going to chain two and you're going to start the sequence that you'll be repeating all the way around by going into this first. Uh, you're going to place a treble into this treble right here, skipping the chain two space, as well as these two trebles, and just jumping over into this uh, treble here. Sorry, I had to try to get my camera to auto-adjust. I'm hoping you guys can see it clear enough. So, we're going to place a treble there, and that's the start of our sequence, and then we're going to chain two, and we're going to put another fan stitch inside this fan.
and then you're going to end the sequence by chaining two again. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. And then when you get back to your beginning chain, you'll slip stitch into the fourth chain to join the round. And then you're going to repeat that depending on what size you're making, either four, five, or six times. And I will meet back up with you guys once I have done my four rounds. Alright guys, so I finished my final round with um, fan stitches all the way up. Um, so I'm, I've got my chain two here and I'm going to slip stitch into the fourth chain of my starting chain. Um, as you can tell, like, my, my yarn is starting to shift colors um, a little bit here. You can see it's starting to get a little bit lighter. Um, like I said before, um, if you're working the small size, you're going to have six rows total that have fan stitches. If you're working the medium size, you will have a total of seven of these fan, uh, fan rounds or whatever you want to call them. And then for the large, you'll have eight. Um, so yeah, that is going to be part three for this tutorial and, um, part four, we will get into doing the sleeve yoke. Alright guys, so that is part three of the tutorial. Um, I'm thinking you guys should probably expect part four um, next week um, on Monday. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and link each part of the tutorial in the description box below for each video just to kind of make it easier to find. Um, at some point when I am finished filming all portions of the video, I will also make a full length tutorial um, stringing them all together for those of you that prefer that sort of thing. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!